Hi there, it's Alexis at Wellbeing Umbrella. We're just putting together a quick video on the product policy tab. So um, when you log into your dashboard, there is, there is your policies, which are your general store policies, which you will have um, added either on registration or when you came to set up your account. So you, um, for your general store, you'll have gone into your settings and then you will have your store policies here. So they're, they're for your general store policy and those will be brought through on your product listings should you either leave it blank or um, when you're adding a new product, those will automatically be brought through to your listing product. However, we do know that um, on your product listing, you may wish to amend, amend um, what's written here which obviously you can do. So I'm just going to show you from a customer perspective, if a customer was to come in to look on your store and they wanted to know, you know, a little bit more about yourself. So obviously they've got these tabs here, they could learn more about yourself or they want to have a look at your policies. They click on the policies here where these will be displayed for your general store. So that will contain your shipping policy, your refund, um, your returns, etc. in there and that's where you'll have input them on your store settings here you'll have already copied and pasted those from your documents already so you'll have logged into your um store you'll have you've come in onto your listings and if you were adding a new listing or updating an existing one. I'll just go to add new listing here and you'll be able to see my product policies. When I click on here, it will have automatically brought through those that I've set up on my um, general store. So you'll be able to see there. But if I wanted, for example, to, you know, take away my refund policy on this particular product and I wanted to do you know to delete that and say no sorry no refund no refunds allowed I'd be able to amend this particular one um on here okay so for example um I'll go to an existing one just to show you what that would look like so Going to an existing essential one for essential oils. So I've completed everything. I'm just showing you an existing one, so then I don't have to fill everything out, and um, it'll make the video that little bit quicker. So you'll be able to see here it's brought through everything, and I'm saying um, I'm going to change this refund policy here, and I'm just going to say no, sorry, no, oh, sorry, unable to offer okay so i'm going to keep everything else the same it's just literally the refund policy i'm just going to amend okay so it's just to show you that you can do this via listings should something differ on your appointment to your products to your events you might have different policies in place so then when a customer comes to your policies will still be exactly the same, same for your general store. However, when they're looking at your listings, just to show you, this was done for my essential oils with stress relief. It's So it's that image that we're looking out for. And that's where I updated my policy on the refund to say, no, sorry, I'm unable to offer. So then when a customer comes in to view your particular product, they, you know, they're wanting to buy and then they're thinking, mm, let me have a little look on the policies. So then in this section here, the customer would come on and select policy. So as mentioned, it's brought through your original ones that you've set up in the store. But then you'll be able to see here, refund and refund policy. It's updated it to say, no, sorry, unable to, to offer. So that's just to show you that um, it will always bring through 
the policies that you've set up in your general store but if you do need to amend any part of your policy it should it differ from the products that you offer to the appointments and services that you do to um, the events you might have slightly different variations um, depending which service it is or product and that's where you're able to um, make changes there on your listings so that people can have a look at the policies as they're buying from you. Okay, so hope that video helped you and thanks for your time.